Okay, Ethan, thanks. 48 minutes after 10. Barbie Hahn, our good friend from that damn jam, back with us here this morning. We're doing a whip feta, we which is on are. all the restaurant menus and stuff. It's huge. It's yeah. all the rage. I even had a hard time finding feta in a block because yeah. it's like everybody's buying it. Like a couple years ago, it was like whipped ricotta yep. was a big thing. And now we got the feta we here. We got the whip feta. that saltiness. Great taste. Uh, how do we do it? So the first thing I said is it can be hard to find the block feta mm -hmm. because you don't want to use crumbled feta. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Because it's like, is it like the waters have sucked out of it already? There's or? a caking agent to keep Ew. it from from um, clumping together. Yeah. So when you go to try to whip it, it's not going to whip. Whip it good. That caking agent, Into right? Shape, yeah. So we're taking a block of feta and okay. we're breaking it up into the, you need to use a food processor for this, right? You know, that makes sense because I feel like the block of feta tastes better anyway. I think it does yeah, too. Yeah, I think okay. it does too. So we're going to need some things to help emulsify this whipped feta. Okay. So if you go out on the internet, there's tons of recipes, but this is the one that I like. I like a little bit of cream cheese because I feel like it adds some sweetness because teta, feta is salty, salty and yeah. tart, right? And then we add some Greek yogurt. You That's can great. use sour cream if you like, but I like Greek, the, I, Greek yogurt's what I had around. Yeah, and it adds the same... Texture, I mean. Then we're adding some lemon juice. Now I see lots of recipes where it calls to add herbs or garlic mm -hmm. or flavorings directly, but I really like to use this as a base and put my flavorings on I top. Agree. I agree with you. So we're going to do this live, Frank, and we're going to get this rolling here on low. And then what you're going to see is it's going to start to come together, but we add, need to add our final ingredient, which is some really great fruity, flavorful, extra olive virgin oil. olive oil. And this is what's going to help it go into the whip stage. The okay. Creamy. And that's the gym. Could have a couple different olive oils on hand. Have your yep. basic cooking olive oil that you need to saute things and whatnot. But when you're finishing or adding olive oil to something that you want to flavor, use something a little higher end. A little, yep. little better. A little bit better. And yep. you could use a flavored olive oil if yeah. you want to add flavor to your um, to your whip feta. But I, I'm not a big fan of adding like raw garlic to no. it. I feel like it just Bitter. It takes it over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. We take the thing out. It smells fabulous, Barbie Hahn. We go like like this. There you go. Like you can this. make this ahead of time. You could make it ahead of time. This is fabulous for Thanksgiving. I mean, I wanted to do it live yeah. on the show because I wanted people to see, you know, how easy it is. It's like sometimes. This is good for Thanksgiving. It's not super heavy because we're having, that's the thing. It's like, do you have an appetizer for Thanksgiving? You right. Have so much food. Coming. I know. We don't even serve appetizers no, at our don't. Thanksgiving. Oops, I, so, did, okay. I did butternut squash soup. So, kind of oh, you do? Yeah. No, I'm not done yet. Oh, I want my bad. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm here we sorry. go. All right. Here we Gosh, go. I, and you could whip it until it's more yeah. whippy if you like it to be more don't whippy. Kick me out of the kitchen. Sorry, Frank. There uh, you go. Okay. I gave Frank the job of stripping the thyme. Yes. So when you get your whipped feta, there's some things that I like to put on top of it because what we want to do is we want to complement those flavors, right? Mm -hmm. So I like a little bit of fresh herb, which can be thyme, it can be parsley, it could be some chopped basil. Yeah, rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary yeah. would be really, especially, you know, Christmas time. Yeah, oregano. Thanksgiving, yeah, oregano. Anything. I'm trying to think of that Greek kind of flavor. Yeah, that Greek flavor. So you put some thyme on there, which is really great. And then we like to add some other texture. So we have pistachios or walnuts. And I mm. toasted them before Ooh. I chopped them. So do you have a preference? Do you like pistachios uh, well, or walnuts. walnuts? Okay, so grab those walnuts and just do like a line across the center. We're going to be bougie. Um, well, you don't got to tell me twice on that. All right. <laughs> That's right up your alley. My, my middle name is Frank Bougie. Frank Bougie. Well, I knew yes. that when I ran into you in the Marymount Kroger. I was like, right. I was checking out what he had well, in his right, cart. Days ago. I was like, what's well, he got in his cart? Is he I being know, fancy he, Frank? Well, no, no, probably buying is he being lunch, fancy Frank? Frank? So you do that across the center, okay. and then what you'll see is usually there is some, some other flavor component. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of our pineapple jalapeno jam. This is the one that we're running on special today okay. for Fox 19. When you go to our website and click on, pro, click on the promo code to check out, you type Fox 19 into the promo code section. We'll get 15% off of our pineapple jalapeno jam that you can find on thatdamnjam.com. And then we also have the wooden spoons back oh, with our holidays. jam for the holidays. Now, can I dive into this now? You can dive into it, As please. I'm already doing it. Go ahead. If you were going to make this ahead, would you top it ahead or top it? I wouldn't. Okay. I would just have it made and maybe put it in a container in the fridge and then get it out and put it on your platter, you know, right when you're ready to serve mm -hmm. it. But don't put any of the toppings on it. What do you think? 
I think it's fabulous. I've got some pita chips, and then I have those crackers that are really popular right now that have like cranberries yeah. and seeds and nuts in them. They add this a little bit great. of a sweet taste to it. Oh, it's great. Isn't this fun? Dive in there and go to town. Back after this. Great, Barbie. Thank you. Thank you, Frank.